Welcome to another session of Quick Bits presented by Fully Heck. That's right guys, your favorite retro game reviews. And in this video, we're looking at your favorite mutant turtles. The game is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Hyperstone Heist. Hyperstone Heist is a side-scrolling beat-em-up and based on the popular comic book characters Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's also the first turtle game to be released on the Sega Mega Drive. Hyperstone Heist was released in Japan and North America in 1992 and in Europe in 1993. In Hyperstone Heist, Shredder reveals that he's in possession of the Hyperstone, which contains tremendous power. With the power of the Hyperstone, Shredder threatens to take over the world and the turtles have no choice but to try and stop him. Thus begins the journey of our four favourite turtles. When the game starts, you can pick between Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello and Raphael. Each character has their own characteristics. For example, Raphael is really quick but has short range, while Donatello has longer range using his bow staff. You use three buttons which is typical in a stride scrolling beaten up back in the day. You got your attack button, you got your jump button and there's also a button to dash. While using the dash button it's very handy to get away from sticky situations or getting surrounded by enemies. Pressing the attack button will attack the enemy and after a full button presses will do a standard combo. You can also do a special attack that's unique to the character that you're using. This is a powerful attack but after using it successfully it will take a bit of your health. There are also different power ups that are in the game. If you walk over the pizza box you restore your health. And if you walk over the bomb power up, it lets you do a special spinning attack that knocks out various enemies around you. At the end of the stages, you also fight a boss. I like this game, I really do. It's a really fun beat em up game. It's also best played two player, but it's not bad one player. It's fun being able to use your favorite turtle and dishing out some damage. Gameplay is also pretty fast, which is great. Some negatives I think about the game is that the music isn't really that great. The sound effects itself as well sounds really shabby. As with beat em up games, it gets very repetitive when you're pressing the same attack button over and over again on the same looking enemies. Some more cool power ups or weapons will definitely add variety to the gameplay, especially when the levels are longer than you think. However, I still really think this game is fun and because I really really like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Definitely play this game if you like side-scrolling beat-em-ups. Definitely play this game if you like retro gaming. Definitely play this game if you love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Definitely play this game if you're looking for some cool two-player fun. Ah, brings back memories. I might go watch some old turtle cartoons now. 